Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about something interesting that um, I got to kind of experience on my mission. Um, I know it's something that we talk about too much, but it does happen. So I just wanted to share kind of my experience of kind of what occurred and um, just kind of my feelings towards it, the whole thing. And that's kind of like dealing with someone who is who was like possessed. And that's something that happened on my mission. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and stay tuned. So I served my mission in Argentina, um, in Salta, Argentina, and something kind of interesting about Argentina is that you, you will see and you'll run into like shamans, which are like kind of like self-proclaimed priests who do kind of like, I don't know, they do blessings and I don't know, exorcism and stuff, but you just go to someone's house and then you just like pay them and then they'll do like a blessing or a curse or whatever. So it's kind of interesting, so I would run into that sometimes, and I don't know, as a missionary we would just kind of avoid that, because I don't know, it just felt kind of weird uh, trying to talk with someone who was involved in that, you know, it just felt kind of weird. But I got on uh, to one area in my mission, which was uh, in Tucuman, I remember getting to my apartment, and when I got there, you know, I did the usual thing, which is like, you know, try to get myself familiar with the, my area, go into the area book, which is just this book that talks about all the investigators and everyone that the missionaries have taught, and then, you know, look at the map. Usually there's a map in your apartment showing, like, the boundaries and everything. I remember getting into apart my apartment and seeing on the map, and there was, like, this red X in this, um, like, l l little area, this house. And it just kind of said, like, read area book or something like that. And, like, all in red. Kind of dramatic. And I went to the area book. And I opened it up. And in a very... Also, in red, there was, like, a page in red. And it said, like, like please read. So I went ahead and I read it. And what it basically said was, like, like hey, there's this girl in this house. She's possessed. Don't go there. Don't try to teach her. Her grandparents are really nice, but she's possessed, so you shouldn't go there. And I don't know, this, this is the first time, like, you always kind of hear, like, there's, like, possessed people, like, I don't know, in the mission. You, you just hear stories from missionaries and stuff. But this is the first time, like, I had, like, physical evidence of, like, a documentation of someone, like, being possessed and I was I was a little skeptical I was like I don't know I don't know if a missionary just put that in there or I don't know how long that's been in there so I had, we live with, with other missionaries so we asked them about it and the other missionaries they were like oh yeah there's a possessed girl in that house you should not go there and I was like I was like how do you know she's possessed and she and they said Oh yeah, we went there. We were curious and we decided to go over there. And so I'm going to just kind of retell their experience. Um, so this is not my first hand experience. So technically it's second hand. It's the missionaries I live with. But still, like, like they weren't lying. Like this is something that actually happened to them. So what happened was... They, you know, they saw the same thing I saw, the map and everything, and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go, you know, try teaching the grandparents. Because that's who they were, the older missionaries, the, uh, the past missionaries were teaching, they were teaching the grandparents. And the granddaughter was like, allegedly, like, uh, possessed. So they just stopped teaching the family, uh, because it was just weird. So yeah, they go to the house, you know, they knock on the door, and the grandparents, they open the door, and they're very happy to see the missionaries. They're like, oh, it's been such a long time, like, come in. And the missionaries, you know, they go in, you know, they catch up and stuff and they start asking, oh, like, how they're doing and stuff. And then just about, like, the gospel a little bit. And they're like, oh, yeah, we love, we love the missionaries. We love when you guys come. You guys stop coming, though. If you want, you know, you can share something right now. I, right now, we would love you to share something. And they're like, okay, it's cool. And they're just like, you know, they just sit in like a, the living room. It's like a small living area. And over there, the there, many of the rooms don't have doors. They just, they're just kind of open spaces. So you can kind of see everyone's room, usually. Um, dip, uh, the house, a lot of the houses are built like that. They don't really have doors. So you're in this living, they're in this living area space. 
and they can see most of the rooms in the house. And they started teaching, you know, like the lesson, one of their lessons that they prepared to the grandparents. And just kind of from the corner of their eye, from what they told me, they could see one of the rooms. And in one of the rooms, there's a young girl, you know, a young lady, probably like around 20, 21, 22 years old. And she's just sitting, like, in the room, in the dark, just sitting there, like, staring at them while they're, like, teaching. And it, this makes them a little uncomfortable because they're, like, teaching, they're trying to teach, but there's just, like, shadowy figure just, you know, on the side over here. And the grandparents, they were like, oh, you haven't met, like, our granddaughter. Like, she, she doesn't really talk to people too much. But is it okay if we invite her, like, part be part of the lesson? And, you know, they're like, oh, man, I think that's the possessed girl. So they say yes, of course. So they get her, and they bring her into the living room. And, yeah, they, they, how they explained it to me was, like, this young, this young lady, she was very, just, like, you know, dark hair, very like unemotional didn't say anything towards them just like stared at them and just had like very like dark eyes that's something that they made made very clear like when they were teaching like they just like when you look at her you can tell there was something off there was something wrong about her and you know they tried teaching continuing the lesson but like they felt so like bad, like teaching there, uh, like with the grandparents there and the young girl there, because it's just it was so uncomfortable that they they couldn't really finish the lesson. Um, so they just you know like went through it as fast as they could, and just kind of like and both of them were like, like this is just very uncomfortable. So they just kind of left the pamphlet or whatever. And they're like, oh, like, when are you coming again? They're like, oh, we'll let you know, you know, we'll let you know. And they just left. And after that, they just, they never returned. They never returned the house. And they told us, they're like, hey, like, whatever you do, like, just don't go over there. Like, there definitely is, like, this negative, like, energy there. Especially with that girl, there's something um, wrong with her. And and, um, and I remember, like, I remember walking by that house, and it was like in this, like, it's just super weird. It's just like, you just are walking, and there's this alley, and at the end of the alley, there's like this little, like, little house. And yeah, it was just like, I was like, oh man, that's where the possessed girl lives. And I, I always had kind of like a, a, a little interest, like, oh man, like, I should really, like, should we go in there? But I never, like me and my companion, we, I don't know, we never did. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of uh, like, kind of uh, my my missionaries, uh, like my roommates, their experience with it. So I know like it does, like, I, I, I feel like it does happen. And it's something that does occur in the church. But I think in many cases, when it does happen usually it might be like even like misdiagnosed as I don't know as possession when it's really like some type of mental illness or I don't know just um, or some emotional like trauma you know people are trying to get into like there are definitely cases I think it does happen and it does occur and there and I know like in the church you can they do do exorcisms. And I remember on my mission, like, like there was an exorcism that took place for, for a fact. I know that for sure. Um, so, but yeah, I, I don't think it's just, I don't think it's as prevalent. Like, at least in South America, it's much more prevalent. Here, we don't really see it, I think, in the States. But I, I, I do believe it does happen. It does occur, and I, there, there is, like, in scriptures, it's happened, and and I think in church history, I believe it's happened too. But um, but yeah, but I don't think it's something you uh, you should dwell on too much. It's one of those things you just kind of like, yeah, it's interesting to know about, 
and maybe you might run into it uh, or like a friend might run into it but it's definitely something you don't want to go looking f like for because I think inviting that into your life can be like I don't know it can have like definitely like consequences but yeah that was kind of my experience kind of with that um, if you have any interesting like stories kind of like that that you've heard or rumors or anything on your mission anything like that happen you comment you know share that um, but yeah thank you for watching and uh, you're welcome to like and subscribe to keep watching more videos and we'll talk to you later